Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest. And today we are taking a look at BTC20. So I'm going to be explaining to you I've taken the the time to actually describe exactly how the BTC20 scam was designed and how it is working. There are some there's a lot of information that we have and there's also a lot of information that we don't. But the fortunate thing is as days are coming, right, we are going to be getting all the information. So we can say we've got between 70 and 80 percent, right, which is enough for us to know exactly how the scam was designed and we can speculate on how it's going to end up. Right. So if you're invested into BTC20, this is a video that you need to watch all the way to the end, right? Because you don't want to miss anything. So without wasting any more time, let's jump in. So first thing first, right? The scam was the roots of the scam is the pre-sale, right? The pre-sale is the root of the scam. Why do I say that? Because everyone, when everyone bought in the pre-sale, I've said this before in previous videos, you were not actually buying crypto. You were just putting your money into this bucket, right? The contract didn't exist. This is where the geniusness of this scam comes in. Because when you put your money, when you actually buy crypto, right, the transactions are on the blockchain, right? But for when you bought into this pre-sale, you're just putting your money into this bucket. It can be some sort of uh, wallet, right, that you're just putting your money and then they are assigning you how many tokens you have actually bought, right? So this was this is the root of the scam. So what they said is six million tokens, right, were purchased in the pre-sale, just over six million. We're just going to round it off to six million, right? Which translates to six million dollars. Right? Which translates to six million dollars. So this means that the supply currently, right, is this six million. So now I've got two important questions in red, these big questions here, right? And honestly answer for yourself. Who thinks the team behind the project has zero tokens, right? Who thinks the team behind the project has zero tokens? Okay, let me know down there in the description, in the, in the comments, right? And who thinks the team behind the project paid $1 for their tokens, Right, So it's absurd that the team behind this BTC20 have zero tokens. They're just doing it out of the goodness of their heart, helping the community. Let's get back into Bitcoin. They're just helping out for the good of crypto. No, definitely they have tokens and no doubt they have more tokens than anyone else. Right? So now which brings us to the question, who thinks this team, the team behind the project also paid $1 for each of their tokens? Because their tokens are part of the 6 million. You see, their tokens are also part of the 6 million. Because I've checked the contract, the contract is good, there's nothing wrong, but here's the caveat. The contract was created after the pre-sale. Right? Because the pre-sale is the root of the scam. If the contract was created, was part of the pre-sale, whereby you can actually see who already has tokens, it wouldn't work. Right? It's a genius scam. Right? So now, within these 6 million tokens, we have two types of people who are, hold, who are holding. Right? We have the real investors. Real investors, people who actually spend their hard-earned money buying into this pre-sale, and team tokens. So now, the number we don't have is how many are the tokens that the team has, the, the, the scam team, which actually developed this, right? How many tokens do they have? And how many tokens do real investors actually buy from this 6 million, right? Because this 6 million is just a claim that they made that 6 million, right? Mimicking 2011, that was the story. Right, so we can speculate here by looking at the numbers. So, if we go on Uniswap, the first decks where this is launched, the liquidity available there is about 238,000. Right, so even when BTC20 went upwards of five dollars 92, almost reaching six dollars, the liquidity hardly breached the 350,000 dollar mark. Right. Which leads us to speculate because we know that there are a lot of tokens that are being staked, right? We know that. 
there are some tokens that are being staked and there are also tokens that have not been staked right which leads us to speculate that real investors possibly invested between 500,000 to a million US dollars real investors right if you invested more than a million please just let us know down there in the comment section right or you invested anything more than a hundred thousand right let us know in the comment section right there i once had a subscriber who actually invested into this one scam invested about three hundred thirty eight thousand i've said this before right it was absolutely shocking to me right but it, these things happen you know it, it does happen so you do see here real investors are between 500 to a million just judging by the liquidity that we do see here on dex twos but of course as the scam is developing, right, we're going to go to the scenarios right now. We're going to go to the scenarios to speculate what is going to happen, right? So if real investors have between five, uh, bought between 500 and a million, right, 500,000 to a million, let's just say it's a million, right? It means 5 million tokens are the tokens that the team gave themselves out of the 6 million, Right? So from, from today, in a couple of hours, we're going to start to see, uh, that is, if it hasn't happened already, I didn't check the actual time when staking was uh, allowed, right? When staking was opened. Because now it's seven days for those who staked exactly when it was opened. But of course, your, your seven days will be counted from the time that you actually staked. So you'll be able to unstake. No doubt, everyone who's unstaking would want to take advantage of the price. Currently, you do see the price there is... What is this? What happened in the chart? Let's just do a refresh here. See what is happening. Right. So currently we do see here it's about $1.77. What is this drop here? So are people like selling? Because you do see that we've got this massive uh, drop here that we do see. I haven't seen this uh, before today, right? Okay. So anyway, let's continue with our data. Right. So Everyone who is taking, no doubt when they unstake, they want to go and sell, right? They want to go and sell. And I'm going to tell you something interesting. It's going to be impossible for BTC20 to go below $1. That's a shocking statement, right? Well, stick around. I'm going to be telling you the reason why, right? So if you have 5 million tokens, the team possibly, we're going to speculate they have these tokens. But as time is moving, as people are unstaking, Right, of course, we know that new investors are going to be coming in buying the tokens, but now we have a whole lot of investors who bought in the pre sale. They're going to be selling. We're going to see exactly where the liquidity stand uh, within the next 10 days, right? 10, 15 days, a month. We're going to see exactly where the liquidity stand, and we can now have uh, the actual liquidity that we have because by then, everyone who has staked and everyone would have participated in some way in the liquidity by either buying or selling, even if. Uh, there are a lot of investors who are just holding the token, right? Right. So staking is key for this particular scam. Staking is key. Why? Because staking uh, will prolong the scam while allowing the team to sell some of their 5 million right, tokens. So they've got these 5 million tokens, but they can't sell these tokens, right? Because if they just sell these tokens, they're just going to be draining the liquidity and it's going to go below $1. So the moment that you see BTC20 going below 120 it means the team are now selling those tokens that they gave themselves, right? Because as things stand, this token hardly ever went below $1. If you just look here on uh, dex twos, the minimum amount was $0.78 cents that it reached, but it never stayed on that $0.78 cents for even minutes, right? So it was not really significant. It largely stayed above $2, right? Uh, even $3 yesterday, we saw the prices. It stayed way above the $1 mark. So it should be impossible for this token to go below $1 because guess what? Everybody bought what? At $1. But what catches the scam now is the team gave themselves a lot of tokens and claimed that there were 6 million. When in real effect, the real investors who put money in these tokens, I believe it's less than a million of real liquidity, right? That actually went into the project. But of course, like I said, uh, the staking, there are some wallets, they're staking $32,000 and all that. But we are going to be seeing that. Right, if the token price goes below one dollar, one dollar is the peg. Basically, the way that they designed this this 
scam and the story that they sold to everyone ensures that BTC20 stays at a peg of $1. It's impossible for BTC20 to go below $1 because why? Each and every person who has BTC20 who should have bought it at $1. You understand what I'm saying? It's impossible for BTC20 to go below $1. The moment it does that, you know that the team is selling way more tokens than they need to because they didn't buy these tokens. They just gave themselves these tokens. Right? This is where the scam is. Right? So there's a $1 peg for this token. It can't go below $1. The moment it does, the team is selling way more. Right? So that's why staking is key because when investors stake, right, uh, it just ensures the team knows how much is being staked and how much they can sell out of this 5 million and still stabilize the price. You see what I'm saying, right? It's the moment that they go above that, then it's going to go below the $1, right? That's where the scam is, right? So now let's look at some scenarios, right? Let's look at some scenarios. And then I'm going to be also doing, uh, also sharing some thoughts, right? In connection with these scenarios, with the actual real Bitcoin, because it actually uh, sheds some light into the actual real Bitcoin. Because I was thinking these guys are geniuses. Yes, they are. They are genius scammers, but they really just did what Bitcoin did, Satoshi Nakamoto, right? And I'm going to be talking about that just now. Really mind-blowing, right? Interesting stuff in crypto. No boring, no doubt day in crypto. So scenario number one, they sell their tokens and drain the liquidity right? They just decide BTC20, we are sick and tired of this project, re replying to people in the Telegram group who keep on asking us the same questions again and again and again and again. We are tired. Let's just sell the tokens and we go to another scam, right? This is the worst case scenario for anyone invested into this, right? The second scenario is a little bit better. They stagger the sale of their tokens for years to come, right? So that 5 million or whatever, how much amount that they gave themselves, they didn't spend any dollar for it. They just stagger it. Because the, the hope that gives us that they might do that is what we see here. They are saying the BTC20 token, this is the white paper, by the way. You need to read it if you haven't. The BTC white 20 to token economy extends beyond the staking rewards program. Yeah, staking to prolong the scam. Potential future use cases include strategic partnerships, utility, within decentralized application and governance rights within the BTC20 ecosystem. These additional use cases aim to provide enhanced value and utility to token holders, further reinforcing the robustness of the, talk of the economy, right? So they've got plans, DAO, they've got plans of uh, partnerships and all that to really make BTC20 the token, right? And then which leads us to scenario number three, they hold forever. Right, they just hold forever, same as Satoshi Nakamoto did. And la now let's look at that article, right? Satoshi Nakamoto, Satoshi Nakamoto, right? Between, so let's see here, uh, this article. So you do see here, it says, between January and July 2009, 2009 Satoshi is thought to have mined more than 1 million BTC in total, likely making him the most prolific miner in the Bitcoin in Bitcoin history. Re research suggests is suggested that Satoshi could have mined even more Bitcoin, but deliberately held back, keeping his hash rate in order to give other miners a fair shot at blocks. Right? So how much did Satoshi how uh, how much Bitcoin does Satoshi Nakamoto own, right? Given uh, Nakamoto's uh, patent for privacy, it is impossible to confirm exactly how much Bitcoin he owns. However, several blockchain analysts have studied transactions from Bitcoin's early days to provide well-informed estimates. A study from Sergio Damian Lena differentiated Bitcoin mined in a certain pattern consistent with Satoshi's prolific uh, public with the, Satoshi's public activity to uncover exactly how much they mined before going off the radar. Uh, Lena came to the conclusion Nagamoto may, may own or at least is owned in excess of 1.1 billion, 1.1 million BTC, right? At current prices, Satoshi Nakamoto's net worth is 32 billion USD, 
right? And more research suggests Nakamoto uh, only owns a little over half of Lena's estimates, around um, half of that, right? Half of that 1.1 million, right? So these bitcoins that Satoshi mined way back in 2009, those addresses is, have never moved those bitcoins, right? And most of them, they just they are in the block which was actually just mined. Like they never uh, we we moved, right? This is is basically holding forever. So that's scenario number three. Because it just goes back to the real Bitcoin, right? They're just following the real Bitcoin. But unlike Satoshi, Satoshi actually did mine 1.1 million Bitcoins. These guys, they are on Ethereum token. They are just using proof of stake, right? Instead of mining. But then the scam came in the pre-sale, as we have discussed. In the pre-sale, they claimed that 6 million tokens were actually bought, right? And if you take a look also on the Ethereum, uh, right? If you take a look at the Ethereum contract, and you do see here that you can see multiple transactions done, right? Uh, one minute ago and all that. But then if you check the start of the transaction, the last transaction, right, is only about seven days ago, right? So six days. So last, all right? So there you go. You see the... The, the transactions only started day about seven days ago. That's where you see the, the transactions, right? Because when people were buying into the pre-sale, they were not buying into this contract. didn't exist. It's a genius scam, right? They, they sort of like merged good old traditional scam, right, um, with crypto. Because... With crypto, you actually have to buy the token so you can track the transactions on the blockchain. So the only other further part that we can go is if there was some sort of uh, address where all these tokens of the pre-sale were going into, that's where the liquidity is. Because for you to purchase this token, you have to exchange your precious ETH for whatever, uh, for, 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 of course, for BTC20, right? So this address, this was holding this amount, where is that address? Right, that was holding all these tokens that people were buying in the pre-sale. What is that address? Does anyone know that address? Right, because you will be able to actually verify uh, the tokens that are actually bought. Genius scam, absolutely a genius scam. This one, right? So let me know what you think uh, in the comment section. Right, we are obviously going to build upon this. Right, in the next coming weeks, in the next coming days, weeks, months years possibly right because this can actually grow to be in the hundreds of dollars it's possible for example if they just go with scenario even scenario two right it can really grow because they are just they are maintaining that one dollar pack it should not go below that and other people come in and they invest because you know what they will be scamming for the long for the long right they are taking a look at, okay, let's scam for the long haul. But then there is that chance that they can see that interest in BTC20 is weighing. Nobody cares about this anymore. Everyone is just going to run away with their liquidity. Let's just dump these tokens on them. And then we start a new scam, right? That's the risk that is carried for this one. But this one can even continue to grow, right? As people are even unstaking now, I see that the price is dropping, which is not really a good thing, right? But even if it drops, it's not supposed to go below $1. When you see the price below $1, be very worried because it means that the team has sold more tokens than they should because they should maintain that $1 peg because everyone who invested, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, right? The more, it should be impossible for it to go below $1 because everyone who is in here bought it for a dollar with the exception of a few who bought it when it was at its lowest 80 cents. But that was just like for a few minutes, right? And the amount of transactions, they don't even amount to anything like 20,000, right? Which were bought around the 80 cents, right? It show it should not have a significant impact, right, into the price. So we should, the price can't go below $1. The moment it does that, it means this team is greedy. They, they are ready to, to just dump it on everyone. Right, the moment it goes below one dollar, especially if it goes below uh, ninety cents, right? If if it goes below eighty cents, then just forget about it. They are just going to dump, 
right? Or they can even let it go below 80 cents or 60 cents and then pump it back up again, creating some sort of formal. A lot of people buy in and then they go up back to $2. A lot of people buy in, then it just becomes a pump and dump scheme, right? So there are multiple scams within this scam, right? You can even think of some. Just let me know down there in the, in, the, in the comment section. Let's discuss this. What do you think about this analysis? If you appreciate it, thumbs up uh, to the video. And I've got a membership program on this channel. You see that big button join. If you join the membership, right, you get your very own badge. You support this channel. And as a package, as a pack for being a member, you can ask me to review any token of your choice, right? And I will review it within 48 hours hours right subject to the to the token right doesn't have any unsavory things like uh, pawn and all sorts of things like that right um just genuine coins right utility meme coins whatever right i'll be able to review any sort of uh token for you so that's just one side note there if you want to help support the channel so this is uh my analysis for this one right btc20 this is exactly how the scheme is working the team is uh, behind this scam behind this project is holding a whole lot of tokens right so the hope is they continue to hold them people continue to stake right but the moment people stop staking and all that they are going to panic obviously because when no one is taking Right? That's exactly what caused SVB Bank. If you remember earlier on this year when multiple banks were failing all over the place, everyone just ran back to the, to the bank and said, I want my money out. And then they didn't have any money because they had invested money into these treasury bonds, and now those bonds have lost value because of, in, of uh, inflation. Right? So here, these guys are just holding all these tokens. Right? This is actually the money. So if everybody just goes, decides that I'm going to just sell these tokens and make, get my money, they are going to panic and just drop these tokens on everyone. And then they make their money, they go to the next scam. Right? So this is my analysis. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.